Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers experimental video. About a week ago, somebody messaged me and asked me to connect the Earth to the Moon and another individual asked me to make a space train. So I did both. This is the Earth to the Moon space train. And it goes directly there. If I press F8 and take control of the free camera and then just scoot along the track as best I can, all the way to the moon. Sudden corner there. It's all fine. I had to readjust it in order to actually reach the moon. Otherwise I was just going to go straight past it. And there we go. And that's the end. Welcome to the moon. With an exclamation mark that I think looks like an I. Oh well. So without further ado, let's get this train moving. Just going to jump over here. Hop in here. Had to do some redecorating in here. In order to get it up this ramp. Because unfortunately it's rather heavy. So remote control, take control, undo the parking brake, turn on the thrusters and off I go. Hopefully this is going to work now. This is my ninth attempt at getting it up here because the original train that I was using unfortunately blew up and then the game decided to autosave and I couldn't roll it back. So up I go. It's a bit wibbly wobbly. The game doesn't really like going upwards onto separate grids, but it's doing the best it can. And then up we go onto the straight. This is the easy part. So what I've done to make this a little bit faster is use a different speed mod. Instead of using the speed of light mod, because as many of you have pointed out, and what I did some testing is above 250 meters per second, the game seems to stop updating the wheels, which causes them to jam through stuff and causes your vehicle to get stuck. So what I've done is search the workshop and found a 200 meters per second speed limit, and that is what I'm currently using. So now I'm just going to cruise along on this nice straight there might be a few hiccups here and there as I had to swap grids. Now unfortunately you can't create a long straight track directly from the earth to the moon because the game has a limit on how big grids can be. If you go above that limit the grids become ghost blocks which will cause you just to fall through. Now don't be alarmed there, I know this looks weird. I know this looks very weird. I am still moving at very fast speeds but the game has decided to go into slow motion. It caught me off guard the first time. So essentially I had to build tracks by using an aircraft, flying it into position and then locking it in place and then building the track of that aircraft until I hit the limit and then repeat the process again and again and again. Because otherwise I'll just build a track like say plop 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 so I have a nice long track and then the train comes chugging and chugging along and the game is like nope we can't do this and you fall straight through the track. Because the blocks are still there you can still colour the blocks but you can't interact with them. So here we go. This is going to be the moment of truth. This is the part where you see the train sort of blows up. I think it did quite well there. The whole train is still together, which was better than my last test where the train just sort of blew up. And there is the green track. That was very off on the angles there. And it's caused the entire train to sort of go a bit wonky. Just a little bit, but it's fine. It's still working. Now how about that for a view? There is the Earth down there, chugging along. There is the moon. We're about to go past a asteroid. Oh, excellent. Went without a hitch. I was dreading that part, because that's another section where the train just utterly blew up. That was where I first encountered the ghost blocks, where you just simply fall through the blocks because they're not there the grid's too big. So I had to quickly snip out a part of that area and then sort of jury rig it together with ladders and hope that the wheels would work. I'm now I think perfectly safe to get out. So this is the first carriage. It's filled up with hydrogen thrusters and reactors in order to get this big thing off the planet. Why the reactors are turned off I do not know. Let's just go and fix this. So all the reactors should be on. Excellent. And then as we come across here, we have a small issue of... Yes, so I'm going to have to very quickly delete this block and hope that um, I can actually pass through it. 
And there we are, I sort of massacred the train a little bit in order to get to the second carriage, but this one largely remains the same. It has some iron thrusters there just to keep it balanced. There's a block floating over there. Hopefully everything's alright, it looks a little bit more wonkier now. But let's keep going down here. Again, really nothing much is happening, it's mainly thrusters in order to get the train to work along the track. There's a floating block, let's ignore that. And here is the drinking area. Perhaps I should have put a gravity generator on this. So we got the drinks again, because this is still the bullet train, and I'm just going to sit up here. And sit there. How are we doing? Marvellous. Absolutely marvellous. We're still chugging along there, 200 metres a second. There is no oxygen here. Perhaps I should have added some oxygen stuff. But no. Just going to come down and further back. Each carriage has its own thrusters, gyroscope and small reactor in order to help keep it balanced. Back through here once again, nothing much has changed. Nothing much has changed. And here is the disco room. Yes, the good old disco room. Douche, 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 douche. Like that or whatever. We're slowly getting it. This is going to be the next change in the track. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. As you saw there, there were blocks missing from that track. We're almost there actually. I'm quite surprised at how fast this is going. We should... We should be approaching the corner. Which will then beam off straight to the moon, where we all greet the sign with our face. I was thinking about uploading this, but it is a little bit of a crude track. It could be done a lot better. Look at this corner. Oh dear. How are we doing? It made it. The train made it. We can just keep going straight towards the ending there. Although we are slowing down a little bit. I'm a bit concerned. Even straightened out the track. Look at that. Amazing. The moon is getting closer, and the earth is leaving us behind. It seems we're all in one piece. Perhaps I should have made a return trip track, maybe loop around the moon. Now I said that, I kind of wanted to do that, but the amount of time that went into this was a little bit too much. And I'm kind of glad that I turned off drones. Could you imagine having drones coming at me while the train is moving along there? That would not have been fun, because you can guarantee one of them would go straight into the track and ruin everything. But here it comes. Here comes the moon. Bring up the HUD. We're almost there. Seven kilometers away from the beacon. We can now make out the craters in great detail. And we should be able to see the sign saying welcome to the moon very soon. Well, I say very soon. Hopefully it's on the right side of the tracks. Because for a long part of this track, I was working upside down. Here it comes, 700 meters away from the moon's surface. With the train, there is the sign. Hello moon. We have arrived. Oh god, the train. The train does not like the moon. Send help. Help. I must get out of the train. I need to make an exit for myself. I am out. Phew. And here we are. We are on the moon. And that is basically it for this experiment. This is a train that goes from the Earth directly to the moon in roughly 20 minutes if travelling at 200 metres per second. I probably should have built a station here, but that would have involved making more sloped tracks. But I feel this is good enough. So thank you all for watching, and if you have any other recommendations for what I should do in experimental videos, let me know in the comment section below. Bye bye.